Hey look, we're back. And where we last left off, we have two bosses left. We have a boss I'm not going to mention yet, though it's kind of obvious. And then obviously the Wesker fight, which is actually two different boss fights. But we'll get to that. Now, before we continue though, I do want to say a few, a few things. I am going to turn on, even though I had it on last episode, I'm going to turn on the option to have uh, allies again. Because I just think it's only fitting that I add these allies because, I mean, it's the... I'm, this is probably going to end the episode here. I'm, I'm, I'm probably ending this LP here, right? And second, um, what's happening in the video game industry? And I guess I have nothing to really add for what's happening in the video game industry. So instead, I want to talk about what's happening in the political... Well, not in political world. Um, in Los Angeles, California, right? It's They're going on full hard lockdown as the numbers of coronaviruses go... Infections go up. So what they're doing over there is that now, even if you leave the house for any reason, but that isn't like a necessity, it's now going to be considered a misdemeanor. So that's a thing that's going on. I would not be surprised if my county, which has the second highest rate of new infections in my state, follows suit. Still haven't been, I still haven't gone to work. I've been going to work very sparingly or going on campus for my work very sparingly. But for the most part, I've been staying home because again, since these assholes are not going to pay my medical bills or my or my uh, mother's medical bills if she gets sick, I'm not leaving. Put my ass self at risk. And again, they're still not going to fire me. Either way, let's continue. Oh, look, you can literally see the boss. No limits. On a line. Let's go. It was fun using the sniper rifle, but I'm going to I'm going to give this to chef now. I will take the striker shotgun. Gotta upgrade it though. And much like the striker from Resident Evil 4, once you upgrade it enough, yes, you can make it have effectively infinite bullets or a hundred bullets. Give her her machine gun. Let's have her use the. I'll have her use this. Uh, give these to Sheva as well. Give these to Sheva as well. Move this to here. I'll move this to here. And can I buy like a fade? No, I'm 200 gold short. Or whatever currency they use here. I don't plan to ever use these, so. There we go. Oh, I sold a little bit too much. Whatever, I don't care. Just give me my goddamn fade. Yeah, I want at least one, please. I'm gonna need it, as we've seen through this LP. I'm clearly not good enough to avoid taking damage. Give it to Sheva, and give it to Sheva. Let's to here. Okay, I think we're ready. Yes, that is a pile of bodies. What the hell happened here? Excella, what's going on? Of course, Wesker betrayed Excella. It's Don't fucking worry. Wesker. Your mission is at its end. Ouroboros is on the eve of its appearance. Six billion cries of agony will burn a new balance. Sorry, Wesker, but not on my watch. Albert, you said we changed this world together. Oh, why? I thought 
they were putts. <laughs> Wesker doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Soon, even you will understand, Chris. One glimpse of my new world, and it will all make perfect sense. Show yourself! Unfortunately, it's too late for you. You will not live to see the dawn. Sorry, Excella, but it appears Uroboros has rejected you. Though you have been an excellent asset, I have one last task for you. Assistant son of a bitch. So now what? You think our weapons can hurt that thing? I don't know. We gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. Yes. It's tearing through the ship! We can't stay here! Obviously can't go that way, so let's go this side way. I believe there's an item somewhere along the pathway while doing all this. So give me one second, I want to chest something. Um, yeah. No, thank you. I tested it, I don't like it. We're going back. Blech. Sorry about that. I had to test one thing really fast. But no, we're going we're going back to uh I changed the box of this game slightly so now it's just a tiny bit off give me a second to just adjust it okay should be better now my god look how big it's become nope. as long as it remains F each time it should be pretty easy to dodge that way I know I'm not crazy. There we go. How much? I think there's more than just a treasure. I want to say there's also a gun here. I know there was some kind of item, but I want to say there's also something beyond just. You grab it. Okay. Yep. You need to be careful. Much appreciated. Who do you trust, achievement? Me. Okay, this is... Mm. Yeah. What the hell? Nice work. Uh.
if that wasn't the most obvious ambush zone I haven't I don't know what it is you can't just have a, a bunch of dudes just laying on the ground and be like oh yeah there's nothing going on weird here, here. Report on Project W, August 28th, 1998, Project Wesker. So it's basically saying that Wesker's entire life was planned and pre-planned pre so that this would eventually happen to some regard. It's been confirmed that the accident at Raccoon City Arclay Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W test subject number 13, hereafter referred to as Albert. His death in the accident had made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Albert's death was confirmed by the information department. <laughs> Albert's death puts, uh, puts the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the project has been drastically reduced and must be addressed immediately. This poses a grave situation for any progress that can hope to be made in, uh, in the project. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to, re to replace the recent losses, it would be advisable to start selecting individuals from a pool of failed candidates. After this adjustment can be made, they will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Umbrella. Information Department, Alex. I can't remember who this is. I can't remember what Alex person this is. Spencer's notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I think I think Spencer was Russian or something. Hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posed by the threat of the T-Virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of 100,000 of their own people. <laughs> oh my god. If only they knew that 11 years later after making this game... <laughs> Oh. If the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my god, this is so... I remember reading a comic from so, uh, uh, from recently. It's about, a, I think his name is Asmodeus, the guy from Watchmen who, who created the threat that would ravage the world so everyone came together. And there was a panel of him saying, I will create a threat that will kill hundreds of thousands, if not millions, to bring the people together. And then just a random comes by and, like, hangs over his shoulder and just starts laughing at his ass. I think this virus has clearly showcased that we don't give a fuck about each other. We will literally let each other die if it means our own personal... Ooh, sorry. I think we'll literally let our people around us die if it means our own personal norms stay the way they are <laughs> oh my god oh that's that's funny even a child can see that they will become after umbrella with everything they have to hide their own foolish mistakes they will blame umbrella for the raccoon city annihilation it would see umbrella will share raccoon city's fate but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree umbrella was nothing but a tool for their search for the, uh, the progenitor virus even without that tool the research still survived only umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its dissolution God, this is too real. Aw oh, man, our company's doing so poorly right now. Fuck you, employees. If the secret research involved with the progenitor virus is protected, then I can always rebuild anew. I've already made preparations for such a plan. Uh, the research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there the progenitor virus is produced, something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility existence, thanks to our strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confined to Africa facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. All that remains is to close that facility, and everything will go according to my plan. Once the facility is gone, all its connections to the umbrella will disappear with it. Then I will have a deal with anyone who has a level 10 security clearance, as they are the only ones who know of the African's facility existence. Everyone else will be simply disposed of. My secrets will be protected, and when one buries a treasure map, one should not leave behind a map. Or if one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. Put it now, stick inside the notebook. Personal access to the company's secrets. By the way, let me show you everything's working fine still, because, uh, yeah, everything's good. Level 10 
Level 10, Oswell, deceased. Henning, in prison. Masaki, deceased. Jenny, whereabouts unknown. Carlos, found information. So that's Carlos. Um, fuck, I can't remember which game Carlos was in. Pretty sure every single one of these people have been in a game at this point. Brandon B, deceased. Franken E, deceased. Isabella C, deceased. Oh, speaking of Isabella, the Nintendo version of Doom Eternal is being, uh, got announced to be coming out this month. So that's good. Greg A, deceased. Lee D, deceased. Michael K, deceased. Ethan W, deceased. So he has been literally cleaning house. That's why it's locked. Nope, let me go, please. More bullets. Time event section. I'm barely sure I'm gonna die here. Why did that box not break? You did I it. shoot? You grab it. Okay. Did I shoot the box while it was still there so it just didn't go down?
I'm sorry, what? What what just happened? What what why why did I? Why did it decide to just do an instant kill shot? Okay. I'm confused. You grab it. Okay. Okay. Round two. That this is a really Do you really think it can kill it? It's all on you, Chris. I got your back. This kind of reminds me of the final boss fight. that it is random. Like, Ed, look at your keyboard right now. You can't really play me for fucking that up so long. Like, honestly, there is no reason it should be A and D and F and B. I have two hands. One's on the mouse, one's on the fucking keyboard. Still charging. shot kill on every because it literally eradicates the virus in the bodies of the zombies. Hey. Give me an herb. 
Goodbye, Excella. Friendly reminder that was literally Excella. All right, we have one more area, and then we have a few more QTEs, and then we have the final boss, Excella Gione. Fun fact: in this game's version of the Mercenaries mode, she is also a character. She's pretty fun. Organize treasures, sell. And before you ask, what stopped you from just like? Starting in a single easy area over and over and over and over and getting all the treasure, literally nothing. You can do that. The game won't stop you. The game does not stop you at all if you just want to abuse the system and just keep farming a single area until you have stupid amounts of money. So that's the bonus. I fear for the world if that ever gets out. God damn it, Wesker. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. Huh? He wants to do the whole, oh, the world is so imperfect. I will break it down and start anew with me as its ruler. You know the nonsense. If you've ever played a video game with like a bombastic villain, you know Wait. how it is. I should have used Brock the Magnum here. When Jill said Wesker was planning to spread Uderboros throughout the world, He's planning to use this to spread it. Wesker! There he is! Come on, let's go! Jill! Are you alright? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Just listen carefully. There's something I need to tell you. Wesker's superhuman strength. It comes from a virus. Oh, really? But the virus is unstable. In order to maintain a balance, he must inject himself regularly with a serum. So if we cut the supply of serum, he loses his strength. Affirmative. But he just took a dose, so it's going to be a while before he needs another one. Damn. Listen, Excella said that the amount administered has to be precise. So if he injects too much, it should act like a poison. I think she used a serum label PG-678W. PG-678W? The vial we picked up earlier. I'm going to try to find a way to escape. You need to find that serum. Excella always kept it with her, and in that attaché case. Jill. Come in. Jill. Shit. Chris, this is it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, did you really have to make that pun, Chris? You're better than this. Obama equipped with missiles. He can't fly around in that without getting shot down. Oh, God. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. If it does, it will initiate a biohazard. It's just like you said. He's planning to spread this virus worldwide. I would really like to get a random person for this next last area. Warning. Fire detected in the engine room. So much like that fire Warning. area, Warning. Off area with you have it. This, this is basically a fire. You're going to have enemies coming from every single side. Warning. You're going to have double and triple changes. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. By the way, that was just area. There's like no Open reason. Please remain safe distance from the bullhead. I really should have brought it back. I knew this area was coming. Oh god. 
Hey, 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 where you guys going?
what was that slide? Dark Souls over here. <laughs> I literally, literally pulled a parry this casual on me. Oh. The reason I'm tripping there is. Yeah, you have my bullets. to help you. This is also why I wanted a person for this last area. So much frustrating. There it is. Give me this. Now I'll take it. I need ammo. Okay. I'm not really gonna have to extend this episode out. I really like this vision here right now. I know I probably will out with the one I put. And I know it's not the most entertaining thing to watch. But I am probably gonna have to get out of here. have that a second time okay okay i don't think i need this many bullets so let's remove these remove this because i'm not going to use these right now and let's go again luckily i hit a checkpoint so oh, yeah. i messed up the because i had to reload i messed up getting my one cycle to kill him Oh, 
Let's go, Shepard. You want to get rid of all the tiny guys first, so they don't get in your way while fighting the big dudes. Kidding. How many of you are gonna have a fucking head? I don't have time to get the knee breaks or neck breaks. God damn. Yo, the fade. Sorry, this I just don't have it right now. Yes, yes, I will. I will gladly take help. I will gladly take help. Give me someone who actually knows how to play this game. Please. Woo! Woo! Cowarding out. Cowarding out super. Well, okay then. I'm cowarding out super hard. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, man. Am I taking the coward's way out? Yes, I am. Am I even slightly ashamed about it? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, this man is ready. This man is ready to fuck shit up. And I am very glad. Because I don't want to fight two JJs with like three head monsters by myself. Okay. In fact, I can use this right fucking now at the very start. Watch yourself. Out of here.
take him out. I'm okay with that. Brace you are this highly trained soldier. Can you please hold the foot in this slight steady? Look, I'm not expecting you to hold it perfect skill still at all times, but a little less wavering. Shepa, man, but like some areas it's just clear that you are not meant to play with it. Take this. Use this. Thanks for the help. I could go get that fade, but I'm good. Think of a single new weapon they added in this game that wasn't in. No, there's a new shotgun. There's a new, like, broken shotgun that they added for Chris to use. And we are now in the final stages of this game. Your plans are finished, Wesker. There's no way out this time. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. Either way. 
way, I'm not gonna stop until I'm dead. <laughs> well then, I'll just have to kill you quickly. Alright, and here is our first of two Wesker fights. Spencer founds the pharmaceutical company at Bella with Marcus and Edward Ashby. I'll see you dead! There's no point in hiding. So now, I have to separate this chap from the wheat. And with Uroboros, I can finally accomplish this. You take it. I trust you more than me. For whatever reason, it just didn't decide to register, so that's nice. Alright, let's try this one more time. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go on the full distance with this episode. Oh, what? What? Are you kidding? There's no point in hiding. That's you. Oh, you know why he can't see us? Because we're wearing, he's like those people who wear sunglasses at night. Snoop Dogg, why do you wear sunglasses at night? It's nighttime. I know you do it to hide when we die, so I'm like... What are you doing, Snoop Anyway... Him. 
God damn it. You gotta do it a couple of times because he's not in with me. There's no point in high and with Uroboros. I can finally accomplish this. I'm coming. Only those with superior DNA will be chosen by Uroboros. Only those fit for survival will be allowed to carry their genes into a new age. And let me guess, you're the one who Is that all you have? Let me clarify something for you, Chris. I don't think of myself as a key. Oh, great. I feel more crazy talk coming on. No. I am a god. And even kings bow to gods. A god? I think he's completely lost it. He never had it to begin with. We have to stop him. There we go. Get poison, bitch. Sorry, man. Doing an LP. Can't skip this part. Did it work? Oh, it works. Either way, we have one more quick timing section, and then we have the true final boss. It seems I may have underestimated you, Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. <laughs> Less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. What's with the big bad guys always saying, oh, you only got five minutes left? We'll be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. Walk still shoot against Sheva. A new Genesis is at hand, and I will be the creator. Oh, 
Bishop is like, alright, I'm gonna sacrifice myself so you can win. Goodbye, Chris. Hell, fuck it. Kick him off. Are there really volcanoes? Like, I'm not supposed to be right now. Oh, there's this. Kids, lava is only hot when you are touching it. And here is the final boss fight. And here is where you get to see the raw stupidity of Chris Redfield. What's the point of you even getting gold here? Use this! I owe you one! Alright. Superman's across. War and pestilence, wherever you go, everywhere, nothing but clothes and shoes. Just hold on, Shiva! Bullshit that is Chris motherfucking Redfields. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Can 
someone do the math on how bullshit that is? Of me literally punching over a boulder. Like, I don't the even understand the, the point of the first punch. What do you accomplish? You're going to judge us? Do you get all your ideas from comic book villains? Hey, legitimately, what do you even get out of punching the boulder? That's not how leverage works. I didn't get to show you the stabbing animation, but that is effectively resident. Well, there's one more QTE. 
But that, my friends, is effectively Resident Evil. And here is both Jill and Josh to come save you. And again, they get DLC where you can see their story and how they even got to this point. How they knew you crashed in this particular volcano is beyond me. Wouldn't a helicopter not work in a volcano because of the thermal updraft? check one thing by the way before we continue yep nope we're still fine but yeah that is resident evil 5 oh one little game is it as good as resident evil 4 no well let me actually let's finish everything off before i get my final thoughts over the game it's over yes Finally. More and more, I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. For a future without fear? Yeah, it's worth it. to the sunset. Hope your helicopter has enough fuel to get home. But yeah, that's Resident Evil 5. So, I stated my opinion about this game. I feel that as the general gameplay loop of this game is more fun. But Resident Evil 4 overall, from the story, to the feel, to the characters, it is just a better game all around. The gameplay of this game is better. But the yeah, overall yeah. functions and everything that made Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4, made it a better experience. Yeah, and let's not even act like Resident Evil 4 didn't change the landscape of survival horror. Once Resident Evil 4 came out, there were so many studios who played it and were like, this is the shit, it's time to copy this in some way. Dead Space did that with Dead Space 2, Evil Within series... Uh, Alone in the Dark did that. Ugh. But so many series change how they played survival horrors and made it more survival action the moment this game came out, or the Resident Evil 4 came out. So we just had to stand back and look at that. Whereas this game was like, let's just take what made that the gameplay of that uh, Resident Evil 4 and just update it. However, without that, they kind of removed all the things that made it good. The story didn't, the story was, took itself too seriously. I like Resident Evil 4 for one reason, because it doesn't t seem to take itself too seriously. Leon, from start to finish, is that he feels like Dante, which is fitting seeing as he originally was Dante until the, for those who don't know, remember Resident Evil 4 was originally a Devil May Cry game, or the original premise of Resident Evil 4 got broken off and became Devil May Cry. So it makes sense that he's this cocky, kind of arrogant asshole. And he just, it's just clear he's having fun while doing this, even though he wouldn't be able to take it just seriously. 
This game, however, is just like from start to finish, it's just like, oh man, I had to take things so seriously. chunk of them are clearly hackers but there are people still playing this game so if you want to have like a very fun time in just a pretty good first uh third character third person character action game or third character action shooter this isn't a t bad time at all i'm gonna let the credits keep rolling because i do want to showcase uh the new modes we get unlocked and some of the unlocks we get for beating this game Uh, I'm not playing Resident Evil 6. That, that's that's not going to happen. I don't care. I don't care. There are people out there like, oh, you got to keep going down the line. That's, mm -mm. no, I don't. No, I fucking don't. Ah, here are the American voice actors. So wait, was it Karen Dyer in both the American and Japanese version? Huh, neat. Oh, look, they had a lot more people to do the Magini for in this game. But no, I'm not playing Resident Evil 6. I might play 7, but not 6. 6, six is not happening. 6 is terrible. 6 is fucking garbage. Another problem that this game has that Resident Evil 4 had is that there's never a single moment in Resident Evil 5 at all that feels on par with the other Resident Evil games. Nothing about it makes it feel like it's this natural progression of Resident Evil. It feels like its own kind of genre in the industry of the Resident Evil. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but that's just the truth. Like, think about it. Resident Evil 4 had the, it had all the hard marks of the other Resident Evil games. You were in these uh, really eerie themes and uh, really eerie mindsets and places, like the castle, the um, the village, stuff like that. You had your puzzle mechanics of coming back and retracing your area to get to new areas as you unlock things, stuff like that. There's none of that in this game. It's just a straightforward start to finish game. And for some people, that's not, that's not a bad thing. But I feel like when it comes to Resident Evil, a lot of the things that makes it so good is that it doesn't take itself too seriously in certain regards. It has that natural eeriness and creepiness of the monsters beyond just jump scares. There was never a monster in this game where I was like, I'm afraid of you. You give me, you give me the willies. At no point in this entirety of this game did I ever get scared. Oh wow, we actually had someone to properly showcase hand gun handling. No, at no monster in this game made me feel just sick. There was no, there was nothing like the regenerators. I think the dog enemies are just more horrifying stuff like that. A colossal bed bug. Thank you very much. Oh, I died three times, veteran. And yeah, just nothing in this game had that effect of fear. Except for the closest thing we got was U12, but, you know, that thing wasn't really a threat. And there is the Mercenaries mode. You can now sh select Sheba in Chapter Select in New Game Plus, and you can now play in Professional mode. Professional says you basically, you get hit, you get, you die. And just like with Mercenaries mode in Resident Evil 4, after you get, like, a, the max rank in this Mercenaries, you unlock new characters. Uh, let's see, it's Hunk, Jill, Albert Wesker, the other outfits of Sheva. Oh, cool. I'm not gonna do anything here, I just wanna look at it. And every single time you get an S, you get to see, um, you get new pieces of gear and content and new stages. Actually, I think it's A to get the new stages, or just clear to get the new stages, and then S gets you guns for the main game. Either way, that is Resident Evil 5. Bonus features. 
is a DLC. Oh no, yeah, here you can buy the outfit. And I believe you can also buy the guns here. Let me check something. Organize. Can I fully upgrade a gun right now? Let me check real fast. Nice. There we go. Okay, so we fully upgraded the handgun. And I believe now we can get the ability to get infinite ammo on it. Let me check. Those features. Yep, here we go. And then you get infinite ammo on the guns. Yeah, there's actually a lot of extra content to keep you playing this game for a very long time. But again, I think for right now, I'm out. I want everyone to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, wherever you're at. I'm going to finish the Ghost of Tsushima LP, and I'll, then I'll do my next major video, which I'm still scared about doing. Either way, later.